Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Screaming Pirate EDC. My name is Brad, and hopefully you guys are here for some great knives. So, today, let's start with a little bit of consistency. My coffee mug for today is the Sasquatch mug from Death Wish Coffee. Love, love, love this mug. Um, yeah, it's just really cool. My Hank is going to be from Renegade EDC. It is the Swab the Deck Hank. This thing is very, very cool. Um, I've already put up a picture over on the Instagram. You guys should check it out. And today's unboxing knife is going to be the Vero Axon. Um, so it's this knife particularly because I uh, got a warning for you guys and I uh, wanted to do some comparisons. So let me set him there. I'm going to take the swab the deck, set him right there. And then uh, before we get too far, don't remember stickers uh, are, avail are available for you guys. $2.50 a piece. I will have a pop-up with my email and Instagram if you are interested. So, let's get into the unboxing. We have a box. Okay. Now, this is a knife that I held at Blade Show... And honestly, guys, I wanted it, but uh, I kind of ran out of money. <laughs> Blade Show will do that, guys. It's a little expensive, not going to lie. All right, got all of that. Going to do a little bit of ripping there. All of that should have been cut wide open for me. Hey, there we go. Well, that's packaged nice and well. All right, let me get that box off screen. And uh, there we go, guys. We've got some Arcane Design goodness and an Arcane Design goodness pouch. Now, this particular knife was dropped on Friday, I do believe, um, this past week on Israel's website. So... We have the black white, uh, I guess you could call it the Stormtrooper Crawler. This is pretty exciting, guys. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh man, guys, look at that. I usually hate white knives. I really do. Just because they get dirty. But this thing is just too freaking... Guys, even the screw head is white. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gushing. Let me set that up there. All right, guys. So I, I had to get this. Loved it at Blade. It reminds me a little bit of a, a Koenig Mini Goblin as far as like the handle. So let's give it a flick, guys. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, it's as good as I remember in hand too, guys. Let's check that detent. So there's a little bit of lock stick there, and I think what that is is that's just the uh, coating here. I think it's like a Cerakote. It'll break in. Broke the detent. Man, that just glides shut. No resistance. Man, that is good. That's really good. Woo! Ooh, I like that, guys. All right, let's flip it. Do I like the flipper more than the finger flick? I'm confused. I'm conflicted now. Man, that's really good, guys. That's fidgety as hell. Oh, I like that. Ooh. All right, all right, I'm gushing. Let's get some other stuff on the table. So there you go, next to an Axon. Let me move those stickers over so you guys can see the blade link there. And actually, I'm going to zoom in for you guys really quick. There we go. So let me set that bag up here a little bit. And I actually have another uh, warning out here because I wanted you guys to see this one as well. This is going to be your Brian Brown Jaeger. Um, all very similar in size. Obviously, Israel has his own 
you know, style, as it were, very futuristic and a little bit of aggressive. Um, I love that forward swedge on the crawler, like right up here, guys. Um, I'm going to see if you guys can see that. It may be a little bit dark for you. There we go, because you can see where it would be grind lines. And as much as I love, I love, obviously, love grind lines. It's my favorite. This is just too good, guys. It's just too damn good. So yeah, you can see up there where that swedge would be, where there would be grind lines. But God, that's pretty. I want you guys to take a look at that. Oh my sweet lord. Look at this, guys. He even Cerakoted the inside. Let me see if I can get that focus up for you guys. Yeah, there's even Cerakoting. I think it's Cerakoting. Uh, it feels like it. On the inside, he did not have to do that. I always love that uh, Israel puts that little touch of putting Arcane Design down on the back spacer. Um, typically, that is a custom knife thing. Man, guys, that is so nice. I did not realize that he's had these for this long, though. 5-1. So he's had these since before blade show but he was keeping them secret Ooh, that was sneaky of him <laughs> oh man guys but yeah there you go size comparisons it's really cool it is buttery buttery oh man guys uh yeah i'm gonna have a hard time putting this one down guys israel may have hooked me oh man gosh I really do like that. Well, I really hope you guys are enjoying these unboxings. If you are, go ahead and hit this with a thumbs up. Head down to the comments and go ahead and subscribe. And you know what, guys? I'll catch you on the next one.